In this video, I'm going to show you how you can highlight text in Affinity Photo, Designer, or Publisher. For this demonstration, I'm using Infinity Designer version 2, but the process is also the same for Photo and Publisher, and even older versions of the software. So let's open up the program. So I'm just going to add a colored background for some effect for this. You don't have to do this using the rectangle tool. I'm just going to choose a nice blue background. That looks good. So now I'm going to add some text. So go to the text tool on the left hand side. So it doesn't matter whether you choose artist, artistic text tool or the frame tool as both options will work. So let's now add some text. Again, if you want to, you can change the font style to make it look a bit better. So I'm going to choose a new font style. So again, make sure the text is highlighted, select it, and then choose a font style of your choice. I'm just going to choose one of my favorites. So I'm going to choose this one. If you want to, you can also use the Alt key on your keyboard and use the arrow key. So press Alt and hold it down and use the arrow key to make the text expand. So it looks a bit better. I'm just going to add this last section here on the bottom. Then I'm going to centralize it by using the alignment tool up here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. So that looks good. So now to highlight the text is quite a simple process. So again, make sure the text is selected. And then on the top toolbar, you can see a little A icon, which is called the character. So click on this. And then a new box will appear. So to highlight the text, it's actually the second option there. You can see on the right hand side it says background color. So for example, if you just want to highlight a single word or a single letter, use your cursor and then double click on your mouse or your touchpad and highlight the text you actually want to highlight, such as so. And if I clicked on this option here, the background color would be changed. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to highlight the entire text. So again, make sure it's selected, click on the box. You can use your color wheel or you can also drop down and use sliders such as so. I'm just going to use the, uh, the color wheel as I'm more familiar with this. So I'm just going to change the background color to a white color. Then I can close this window if I'm, if I'm done, so I'm done. So that, that looks pretty good. So to add a bit of padding to the end of the, of the border, all you have to do is again use your cursor, double click, and then you can use the space bar on your keyboard. Again, I'm going to use it here, space bar, space bar. So then that looks a bit more natural. If you want to, you can also add a border around the entire highlighted area. So to do this, again, make sure it's selected. Then go down to the FX option down here, which is the layers effect. Click on that. That's going to put this window to one side. So you can use all these options if you want to. So to add an outline, select the outline. So put a tick in the box, then click on outline. Then you can use the slider here. So you can change the color of the outline you want to. So I'm just going to see what it looks like in black. So that looks pretty good. Just going to move that across so you can see a bit more. So it looks really good now. You can also, if you want to, change the color style so you can either have a solid color or you can even have a gradient so to do this click on this box here then you can either click on one of the end circles or here so i'm going to change the this one here pick a new color for example red and you can see that there's a gradient color on this box now so that's a good option again if i go back to the fx i can also choose a outer glow Click on that, and again, you can choose your color and just use a slider to give it a glow. So you can see that looks, that looks pretty good. So there's some simple options. Again, you can use all these if you want to, it's up to you. So let's have a look at this. So that's how it kind of looks. It looks pretty good actually. So basically that's it. That's how you can highlight text in any Affinity product. Thanks for watching.